Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with Design Study and Creo Simulate. Over here I have an example that we have a holder for the pillar and we can imagine that at the end of this pillar is placed some flag. Yes, yeah, so as you can see in the video, maybe it's this example. Over here, on this point, we would like to put some force and then some deformation will be on the holder for the pillar. So let's see, and we will start from scratch. So if I will check the model properties, we have a millimeter Newton seconds. So everything is prepared that the, the result will be in megapascals. If I will jump in application simulate, over here, as we have spoken, is necessary set the material. So you can assign material, by selection and if you will choose more over there is a couple of materials prepared i'm using for my tutorial steel mechanica and you can see here that is the yeah if i will select double click the system will apply and i can see the changes 7.85 minus 09 and everything is in tone millimeter so if i will come from ok ok material is set and if I would like to continue, we need to specify displacement and force. So displacement is really easy. You can select the icon here and we will select the bottom surface. You don't need to spin the model. You can put the mouse on the surface and right mouse button. The system will select the bottom surface and left for selection. So system really easy select the bottom surface. Translation, translation, as you can see, is fixed and rotation is free in three dimensions. So if I will come from OK, everything is set. And as the force, we would like to use the force on selected surfaces. So these surfaces will be deformed. So I will select these two surfaces. But as I mentioned before, on this point, we would like to apply the loads so it will be no total loads but will be total loads at point and the systems ask me select the point so you can really easy select point from the model tree and then we are able to specify the force the force will be for example in z direction and the minus so we will specify minus for example 650 yeah so 65 kilograms so 650 newtons if I will come from OK, everything is set. We can zoom in and you can see that orientation is set also for the force. Everything is ready. We are able to start analysis. So if I will select analysis and file new static, the system will create for me default static calculation. As before mentioned, we would like to use the single pass adaptive method. So only if you simple calculation will be behind. So I can directly come from OK because everything is ready. And last but not least is the configure run setting because I'd like to set um, allocation of RAM. I have a 16 gigabytes, so I will use the half. What does it mean? 8000 megabytes. OK. And last but not least is the run or start analyze. If I hit the button, hit the button, the system asks me for some windows that he would like to create and show, and I am able to see display status. So it's a only single pass adaptive, so only two calculation. Yeah, if, if you will see, go here, and how many passes, so it's only two passes. Yeah, calculations. If you use the multi-pass adaptive, the system can use the iteration as nine maximum. OK, if you will check the previous tutorial, I have explained in more details difference between single and multipass adaptive. OK, let's focus on the results. So run complete. And if I will select the results here, review results, I'd like to see for now only quickly the stress in megapascals and I like to see the deformation. I like this preferences. So I use this always. Nine colors are good enough. And if you would like to see the deformation or transparency, you can select and or animate. It's up to you. 
I can select OK and Show, and right now we can see the deformation. As you can see, we have a maximum 54 megapascals. So the question is, wh what is your material and what is the maximum stress, what we can use? And for example, your material is de defin definite as the, that you can cut and go with the 75 megapascal, for example. What does it mean? You can optimize your design study and, for example, change the thickness of some preferences here. And But you have to change the thickness, run calculation, change thickness and run calculation. Yes, of course. If you will have a Creo simulate life with Creo, it's perfect because the system can do the calculation automatically and really fast. But for now, I do not have this license activated. So I'd like to show you how to use this optimization study by Creo Simulate. Yeah. So what is good that you are able to create file. Yeah. In the analyzing design study rules, create file and new optimization design study. And this is the tutorial what I'd like to show you today. And you can set your custom name. So for example, optimization study. Yeah, so space is not allowed, so you need to use, for example, underscore, and then we would like to optimize. What we would like to minimize is total mass, and we have to specify some limits. So I'd like to check where is the maximum or, yeah, maximum stress for one misses. So I will select the maximum for one missus stress over model. So if I confirm OK, and we would like to minimize. And our results, as I mentioned, is the 75 megapascals. So it's OK. And right now we need to change some diameters or dimensions. And for example, you are able to select a feature. The feature will show you some dimensions. And for example, I like to change this thickness. And also, for example, it's possible to select the another dimension. So I will select this icon and, for example, thickness of this component. And I will set, for example, this dimension. And we would like to check the minimum and maximum. So you can see here that, for example, minimum zero for the thickness is not so good. So, for example, set the four millimeters and thickness also, for example, four. And maximum, it's up to you. You can check and add, for example, 20. But we have seen that 10 and 12 is good enough. So over here, I will, maybe I will place here 12 and 12. So you can play with numbers and set your custom minimum, maximum. Current value is 10 and 12. Yeah. So in the previous result was approximately 50 megapascals. And I'd like to have the 75. Simple and easy summary. You will create new optimization study. You can set your name, define the limits, and specify if you would like to maximize or minimize. We would like to go to the 75 and specify some dimension. What do you guess that is necessary to change? In the options, last but not least, again, you are able to specify the convergence. And for example, we would like to have the approximately convergence to 5%. So system will compare two previous results. And if the convergence will be 5%, the system will stop the calculation. If we will close, we are able to confirm OK and run optimization study. Confirm OK a couple of times and you need to wait for a couple of minutes. Also, if you would like to see how the system calculate, you are able to select display study status and the system will show you one by one the result what, which are calculated and you can check it slowly and surely. So we can wait for a couple of minutes and let's continue. After a few minutes, you can see that optimization study is complete and we are able to check the results. Again, I will jump into display option 
you can increase the number of colors, you can use the deformation on, or for example, overall transparency and for example, 5% will be good enough. And we can see the transparency is here, yeah, it's without deformation and deformates. Or final result, you can see that is in maximum. Yeah, if you would like to see the model max is here and we see that is the 78 megapascals. So this is the convergence, the 5% what I have set, but it's up to you what the data quality would like to have. But we would like to check or we can have a look here if I will specify the edit and for example, I don't want to see the transparency on the deformation. And you can see here directly with your eyes that system change the thickness of the object. What does it mean? You will have the thickened plates over here and the final result will be as you propose. So for example, 75 megapascal approximately. And also we have to be careful because over here is the straight lines. So, and you know that over there will be some belts, part and so on. So the stress will be really smaller. At the end, you are able to copy the predefined preferences. The system will create for you the second window. You can set your custom title. And for example, we would like to see in the second window, the graph and graph will be set for the measurements. And in the measurements, we would like to see the, for example, total mass. Yeah, if I will come from OK, you are able to change the preferences. And if you come from OK and show, the system will show you necessary information. So you are able to see in two separate window two informations. Yeah, regarding mass or directly what kind of data has been changed and applied. I hope so. Did you like this example, how to reuse optimization study with Creo Simulate? Thank you and bye bye. Vladimir.